How's it going everybody? I am back with yet another short and to the point guitar and chords tutorial. Today it's Blake Babies with Cesspool. Someone requested this in the comments of um, one of the other videos, I think it was the Juliana Hatfield 3 song, My Sister. So this is for you and any other Blake Babies fans out there. Um, I had to relearn this as I hadn't played it for probably seven or eight years. Um, there's a lot of magic stuff going on with the guitar. John might be playing two different guitar parts on the recording. Or he just might have 15 fingers on one hand and he's able to, you know, play all these magical shapes. But from what I can tell, and also there's so much uh, melody and counter melody and, and harmonic movement in Juliana's bass line, as anybody that's familiar with the song knows. All right, so basically what's going on, it's, it's a pretty simple song in the key of D. But, uh, I, you know... I'm just going to kind of wing this, so forgive me if I kind of uh, make a few mistakes here and there. Um, all right, so it begins with D, G, and then I'm hearing D to D suspended second, but also I'm hearing A in there. There's definitely an A going on, so the intro is... play E minor added nine, which is basically like a B power chord without flattening your fingers. Um, you're going to get that little G string open, right? So again, all this stuff is learned by ear completely. So um, if any anything's inaccurate, please let me know. And if John, hey, if you happen to see this video, comment, man. Let us know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> the odds of that are zero, but hey. All right, so that's that's going to lead us into the verse. Then you're going to hold an A chord while Juliana kind of does, you know, the um the movement in the verse. She's basically playing A major and D major, but John just kind of holds the A and maybe really quietly plays a D power chord or a D suspended second. It's really hard to tell. Um, but basically that's the that's verse 1. Just those two chords. Now this is a special thing which took me forever to figure out, and I think this is right, but I, again, I don't know. Um, you're going to play this really cool chord. It's basically like, it's a D chord with your index finger on the D string second fret. Okay, so you're going to play that G string open. So it's sort of like a G major 7 formation, right? A little bit. So you're hitting, it's, it's basically an E minor. D combo. I don't know exactly what chord it is, but and then you're gonna you're gonna flatten your A your index finger to make the A shape, but you're gonna leave the rest there. So no flat finger there, and then flatten it. Okay, that's the the craziest part. We're gonna call that the pre-chorus or whatever, right? So so again, to to dissect what this is. Open E string, D string 2nd fret, G string open, B string 3rd fret, and then the high E string 2nd fret. And then you're going to just flatten your finger there. Such a weird shape, you know, it's, not, it's an uncommon chord that I rarely play, but um, I think that's what it is. next part's easier. It's just D. And then Juliana plays a C note. And John comes back in for the G chord. Mm. So if you want to you play all that, you could hit D, C added 9, and then G like this. Now we're in the second verse, and it has a little counter melody on the guitar. So it's going to go... Um, So all this is doing like an, like an A and an A suspended fourth. Uh, so that's your A chord. And then suspended fourth, little melody run down. Dun, 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 dun. Then he kind of vibratos this. And then he 
he hits the third fret and then the fifth fret of the B string. And then the second melody goes similar to the first. Then he's gonna walk down. Then he does a little bend here. So he's gonna kind of, he's just doing like a, like an A suspended fourth bend. So it's kind of like, just like. Then he goes. He actually might bend that a little less. There we go. So like, uh, again, second verse. That's what I think that that is. That's such a cool thing. And then you got that interesting chord again. You know, the D with your index finger on the D string, second fret. And flatten it out. We got the bridge, so we got E minor added nine, and then an A, but John kind of plays like a little A triad up here. So, um, kind of does. The hummed chorus, you know, basically the first proper chorus, is just like the intro. But there's definitely an A in there. You know, like that. He also could be doing that. He could also be doing that chord from the pre-chorus. He could be doing like, kind of like that, and maybe resolving to the A. I don't know, it's so hard to hear that. <laughs> What's going, what, what, exactly what he's doing in that chorus. That's the easiest, you know, path. But make sure you get that A string in there. Now you're in the third verse, very simple. There's no counter melody. It's just kind of like the A and then the D power chord right there. Or just the A, you know, because Juliana moves the chords, but John doesn't really play much here. And then you're in the, you know, the special pre-chorus chord again. Um, and then flatten your finger. Keep forgetting what it is. And then you got this again. Okay, now we're in the chorus proper. See, and you could just kind of wing this. Because I really hear on, on another layer or just a solid A chord, or, you know, again, I don't know what John's doing, but it definitely doesn't sound like he has a capo on or anything like that. But you gotta get that A in there, which is why Julianne is such an important part of that song, and any song. But that, that's kind of more usable. That's kind of D, G, and then A sus4 resolving to A. That's kind of more of what the chord progression is doing. But I'm also hearing that high E open, right? So anyway, that I hope that helps. Um, this video is definitely longer than I intended, but it's the Blake Babies, so there's going to be a lot of weird stuff going on. Um, please let me know uh, what you think of this video. If you found it helpful or informative, um, smash that like button. Please give it a thumbs up. Help me break through this godforsaken algorithm. Um, if you, you know, comment below if you have any suggestions on, you know, anything that's inaccurate or whatever. But this is all by ear. I, you know, the first time I heard this song was many years ago, and I loved it so much. And a few years ago, I was like, I gotta learn what they're doing. And and that man, that pre-chorus chord. It's got to be that. You know, 
It's just John and his, you know, whatever it is, the fuzzy overdrive thing with like the, the melodic like thickness, y you know, it's the Blake baby sound. It's just brilliant. Um, but yeah, I definitely think, um, most of the rest of that is pretty accurate, but I, I really don't fully understand what, what's going on in the chorus. Cause I, I definitely hear that. I, and, and it could be for all I know this. It sounds like that could be one of the guitar layers just staying on those treble strings, right? Um, and then Juliana is moving around. Um. You know, there's so much, she's, she's doing so much melodic movement on that D major scale. Um, so I don't know. But anyway, if, if you found this you know, pretty helpful in general. Again, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, I am happy to do it. I will do all of the Blake Baby songs for, <laughs> to the best of my ability. Uh, anything Juliana Hatfield solo, anything with Juliana Hatfield 3. If you want to see some girls, if you want to see minor Alp stuff, not a surf, you know, <laughs> any of this, anything that's connected remotely to Juliana, I will totally show you. Mysteries of Life. Oh, I got plans to do a lot of the Come Clean album because that is my all-time favorite Mysteries of Life album. And, you know, again, it's a Blake Baby's connection. So uh, I think it's a perfect pop record from start to finish. Um, so anyway, yeah, let me know what you think. And I really appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. And yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, pay it forward, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.